thought I'd give you all a bit of an update because I've had a couple of people message me on Facebook asking how I'm uh, getting on in the van with the dogs. So uh, thank you, Nikki and Amanda, for asking. And uh, so how am I getting on in the van? I'm doing all right. I guess I'm doing all right. It's a bit difficult with Lulu because I have to bend down, but I can't do the ballerina thing so easily depending on which way i get him so um but yeah i'm doing all right it's it's a mud choir outside so that's a bit scary so i'm not really going getting out at van um it doesn't help that it's been persisting it down since i got back and my bloody sunroof's leaking again <laughs> And yeah, luckily, Chris is coming over today to fit my diesel eater. So, um, although it's raining, I don't know if he can do it in the rain, but he said he'd sick flex it for me. So, because this will be the third time it's been done. So, it needs to be done and done now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so coming back to a wet van wasn't pleasant. Um, Al's tried to level it off, but it's still not level, but it's better than it was. Um, so that's a good thing. Kev's coming next week to fit my bathroom door. Uh, so that'll be another thing out of way. Last night I took that coat down to the homeless guy. Maria, uh, Maria brought me the coat last year, or this year. Lost track of time. Um thinking it'd be useful for me but it would have been last year when i were in moby when it was bloody freezing when i had no eating but anyway they're made specifically for homeless people and down at b&m in wait not b&m home baggings and wakefield there's always there's always homeless people sat there begging so we took that there murray bless her out took me shopping last night <laughs> so i said right well we're on his way let's take this because they're gonna need it well it wasn't the usual guy that i that we see there but it was another guy who was a southerner, just a southerner accent, but he was, I'll say elderly, but he was older than me, let's say. Uh, and he was so made up, bless him. <laughs> anyway, it was just nice to finally pass it on, you know, to someone who will use it. And just so many homeless people went down to Sainsbury's after there, and there were another young lad sat by trolley thing just felt so bad i mean that the elder guy i think he might have been homeless for quite a while because he were stocked up he'd already got three coats on mind you that don't make a difference when you sat outside does it really but um that poor lad me he, he didn't look too warm bless him so yeah so i'm waiting for chris to come to do my diesel eater forgot to get diesel yesterday because I'm a total bloody numpty so Al's gonna when he gets up he's gonna get me the diesel container thing that comes with the heaters it's in the outside cupboard which I can't get to now because I can't bend down to get it um and he's gonna go fill that up for me with diesel so I've got diesel in eater because it is cold today uh um my nose is a bit cold, my hands are cold, so it's definitely heating time. I've, I've had it on a, a couple of times this week anyway, since I've been back eating, but just for like an hour, because it gets red hot <laughs> really quickly. Um, but it's really noisy, and it does my head in. So, so I'm looking forward to the easily I've been fitted. Um, and I've made a big pot of the Greek bean things. And when we were at Sainsbury's yesterday, we got some purple carrots. So I've put some purple carrots in it as well. Uh, and then I think Jess, Jess is coming over tomorrow to bring her van over and Chris is going to sort her solar out. So that'll be cool. I don't know what she's going to park it like because Jackie next door don't like us parking on the driveway. So, because uh, she's, she's poorly, it's not because not she's an ass, she's poorly and obviously ambulance needs to get up she can't get up so um 
So yeah, so I don't know, I guess we'll figure all that out tomorrow and hope it's not raining. How did you all survive with fireworks anyway? Yeah, next door but one. We're letting them off from bloody, what, five o'clock? They were letting them off when I got back. Five, five, six o'clock-ish, right up until bloody midnight and... And they all seem to like just explode right over at Van. So when <laughs> when Chris goes up top at Van tonight, he might find rockets up there and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, Louis Louis didn't like them. Storm were fine. Storm just slept straight through it, didn't you? Say hello to everybody. Say hello, hello everybody. <laughs> he wants to get on my bed, but I'm not letting him. Um, yeah, he barks constantly. So. I put on classical music, which does help. But then, after listening to that for about an hour and a half, I was like, right, okay, I need to put something on that I can watch. <laughs> Just listening to that rubbish. But it was all right, because I, I had it on while I was prepping all food for today. So, hmm. Team Louis I had these mugs made for Louis when he had his accident to try and raise some money. But I didn't realise how freaking expensive they were. And I've literally made one euro per cup. And I bought one for my daughter. <laughs> and one of my friends bought one and that were it. <laughs> and in fact, this is the one that my friend bought. Bless her, Jo. She bought it. And then when I came back to England, she gave me it. And I've already chipped it, look. <laughs> but yeah. Team Louie. So, mm. Talking of Team Louie... Uh, I've done the buy me a coffee thing again because I had it set up before uh, but then we found out that you had to have 20 quid in it to, to to release the money I don't know if it's changed now I'm sure I've read something else on it now but anyway uh, so I cancelled it because I really didn't have many subscribers I still don't but <laughs> but anyway I've done the buy me a coffee thing for I've done it in three things so there's one like a quid a month there's one that's three quid a month and one that's five quid a month uh oh, i don't know if you can buy it each time i don't know how it works to be to, to be honest um because it says five pound monthly three pound monthly but does that mean you can only get one a month i don't understand anyway but um I've, what i've done i've done them for dogs so the one pound a month is the teddy fund because i'll save that up and want to get them new teddies because they they just rip them to pieces i love it i love them at christmas well louis when he opens his presents storm just looks at it like oh, what do you want me to do with it <laughs> he has no clue even though he's been watching louis open his for the last five years <laughs> anyway uh, i'll get them new teddies and stuff uh, i think i've already ordered them some for christmas um and then there's a £3 one, which is for the dog treats. Because they're not cheap anymore, are they? Uh, so thank you, Nikki, uh, from... Uh, oh, what's your man channel name? Nomads. Travelling Nomads. What the fuck's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Travelling Nomads. I'm sorry, Nikki. I've just had a fucking total my mind blank and I can't remember naming your thingy. But I will link the proper name in. <laughs> so thank you, Nikki, for uh, for buying my boys treats. I got them uh, I got them some I'm not gonna show you what I got them yesterday. I got them these yesterday. They're like toothbrushes for doggies. And they love them. And do you know what? For those of you that have got dogs that are reactive, when the fireworks were going off last night, I gave them one of these each, and because they're quite chewy, it takes them a while to eat them. It kept them quiet. Well, bangers were going off for 15 minutes, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, so handy tip, give your dog something to chew on. I think they've got them some bones now, but, you know, something that would have chomped on a bit longer anyway so thank you for those nikki the dogs really appreciate it 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 and the distraction helped them with the fireworks last night so so yeah so i finally got to use my big pot i didn't use this since i were at lincoln they made us all a big stew this big 
stainless steel pot that I've got, which I wasn't going to get rid of when I moved back from Cyprus. I said, no, I'm keeping it, even if I only use it once a year. And so far, that's all I've used it. But it's really good, like, for now, I've made a big pot of, uh, it's like a bean stew, basically, uh, for Chris and I think Heather's coming as well. And then Jess is coming tomorrow and she's veggie vegan, so... So I can I've got some nice crusty rolls that you put in the oven. So it'll be yummy. I don't, I don't know, I've had a really weird week. I've had a weird week. So, so I apologise for not updating sooner. I was supposed to go to physio on Tuesday. That's it, I was gonna update you on time. Well I got back Tuesday. Tuesday evening, I don't know, about four. I think it was still light when we got back. Um and then uh Tasha had to remake my bed for me and everything because it's still got my summer stuff on and what my teddy bear quilting put on. And she she let she's let me the cushions off that sofa bed to heighten my bed. And then we took the seat off the the, the frame toilet that goes over a standard toilet to to raise you. We took the seat off of that and put it on my loo. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. I manage <laughs> so so I've got that on my loo now so I don't have to worry about trying to get up up to Al's to go to the toilet every time I need a pee so and especially when I'm getting up three three times a night for a pee um it's not good is it so so I'm managing with that that's fine uh the only problem like I said is the mud choir outside so Al's on the back his son-in-law is gonna come and put some flags down but it's a bit dangerous, it's slippy, so so I don't really want to go out as much, really. So apart from that, everything's good, everything's good. Uh, to change my physio appointment, that's what I was saying, and I go on the 9th, I think, on the 9th so, to my physio, and then on the 27th I see the surgeon, so... I don't know why I'm seeing the surgeon, but I've got to go see the surgeon on the 27th. So I'm guessing he will say then that it's OK to drive um, as long as my legs functioning. <laughs> I've got four pair of these stocking things for my legs and I can't find them. Can't find them anywhere. I don't know where the hell I've put them. Um, but Maria, I had one. I found one. <laughs> Singular one. And Maria changed it on my bad leg yesterday, uh, bless her, uh, for doing that. So, and I've just put my washing in earlier today and there's none in there, so I don't know where the hell they are. I've unpacked everything. They've just vanished. <laughs> the vanishing stockings. So, yeah, so in other news, then after that, then would be MOT vans, which I'm going to take it in on the 1st of December. Because obviously that's beginning at new tax month as well. And it's going to pass. Good vibes. It's going to pass. It's going to pass, 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 pass. <laughs> With little advisories, if it's going to have anything, it'll be minor advisories. <laughs> okay. But it's going to pass. First time. Because if it doesn't, then I'm fucked again. Because then I've got to find somewhere to stay. We're both dogs. Well, vans in bloody mechanics and it's just a nightmare there's nowhere for me to freaking go <sighs> and I don't have the money to book into an hotel for two days so I don't freaking know what's going to happen next but anyway we'll cross that bridge when we come to it anyway I'm going because I'm just rambling for no reason and this is just pure exhaustion because I'm not sleeping even my sleeping tablets are not helping me sleep so I've not slept since properly since my accident apart from on the Sunday night after my after my uh, operation <sighs> it's like the only night I've had a proper sleep in nearly seven months <laughs> right I'm gonna go guys just please be careful tonight it's no it's not tonight is it tomorrow night bonfire night yeah just be careful before check your log piles before you light your fires for hedgehogs and things please because they're endangered and we love us hedgehogies i love all animals and there's mice you know that burrow under there and 
so just check your piles before you light them and, uh, and be safe out there. Classical music for your dogs. Anyway, love you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell and leave us a comment. And if, you, if you've got nothing to say, leave me a smiley face or a pile of dog poo, whatever. <laughs> Just get these algorithms working so we can get these uh, subscriptions up. Because, you know, I might get three or four hundred views, but I've got six likes. If you've liked anything in this video at all, give us a like, give us a subscribe. And leave us a thumbs up. Alright. Love you all. Take care. Be safe out there. Bye bye for now.